Kane were labelled Tottenham 4 Stoke 0, Harry Kane hat-trick and Dillily smasher help Spurs soar past Surrey visitors at White Hart Lane. Leading man Kane score his third treble in nine games before assisting teammate to put game beyond doubt at half-time. Harry Kane was the toast of White Hart Lane this afternoon as the Tottenham superstar smashed in another superb hat-trick to help crush Stoke 4-0. Potter's fans arrived in North London hoping to pile on the misery after Spurs were dumped out of the Europa League during the week. Harry Kane made it sure it was a day to remember with a superb hat-trick against Stoke. But a masterclass from Kane ensured Mauricio Pochettino left the pitch with a beaming smile as he opened the scoring with a fine effort in the 14th minute. Keep up to date with all the Tottenham news, gossip transfers and goals on our club page plus fixtures, results and live match commentary. It marked his 100th career goal, but Kane was far from done as he doubled his side's tally just after the half-hour mark. The 23-year-old then ensured it was a day to remember when he scored his third via a deflected free kick, making it three hat-tricks in his last nine outings. Kane doubled Tottenham's lead with a fine effort after half an hour. Kane still had enough in the tank to nab an assist in the dying moments of the first half, T being up Dillerly for a confidence boost and finish. Spurs will now be hoping to put together a winning run starting with a visit of Everton next weekend before Millwall come knocking in the FA Cup quarter-finals. The striker wasn't finished yet as he sealed his first half treble minutes later. Facts, Stats, Goals and Lows Kane joined football's Century Goals Club. Ryan Shawcross was guilty of messing around with the ball inside the area, it fell to Kane and he shot through the Stoke defender's legs and into the net. It was the 100th goal of Kane's club career, his 84th for Spurs. More goals were to follow. This also saw Kane become the first player since Jimmy Greaves to score over 20 goals in a season for Spurs. Not bad when you consider Kane also missed 10 matches through injury. Glenn Whelan was lucky to stay on the pitch after a two-footed tackle on Jan Vertonghen. Referee John Moss was in a charitable mood. Hugh Golaris delivered a brilliant save with his feet to deny Crouch. There would have been controversy had the ball gone into the net as Crouch was offside. Tottenham were in top form and it could have been 2-0 but Vertonghen's shot rattled against the bar, while Kane went close again soon after. Kyle Walker then had a decent effort tipped over the bar. Goal number two arrived and it was superb. Christian Eriksen delivered a corner and the ball took one bounce before Kane showed great technique to volley into the net on the edge of the box. Victor Wanyama also displayed great awareness by jumping and allowing the shot to pass through his legs. And again. Another hat-trick. In the space of 23 minutes. Eriksson touched a free kick to Kane and his effort took a deflection off Peter Crouch and wrong-footed keeper Lee Grant. It was Kane's third hat-trick in nine games. That also made it 17 Premier League goals of the season and brought him level at the top with Alexis Sanchez and Romelu Lukaku. Stoke would have been desperate for the half-time whistle to blow yet the humiliation continued in injury time. Kane flicked the ball around Bruno Martins' Indy and then moved down the right before crossing for Dillily to score at the far post. More excellent football. Alderweireld went off early in the second half with an injury and Spurs fan took a deep breath when Kane headed wide in the 56th minute but caught the post as he fell to the floor, needing treatment. Kane returned to the pitch to the delight of the fans. Pochettino issue old have taken him off. Crouch got an excellent reception by his former fans when being subbed although the supporters were not quite so kind to Saido Berahino, the replacement. Stoke fans started singing Champions League and UFD it up. Otherwise, they did not have a lot of sing about, thing about.